Hello Crafty Budgeters and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel, we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. Happy New Year to all of you, 2023, here we go. It's about to be a great year. I am speaking it into existence for each and every one of you that, and myself, that we're going to reach all of our goals, financially, personally, spiritually, health-wise, all of the things we are going to reach them. And yeah, we just have to create the plan. If you've been with me for a minute, you know that you, I have a model to create the plan and then execute it. And so today we are going to be talking about my 2023 financial goals, as well as I'll throw in some personal goals in there as well, for us to save over $30,000. Y'all, that is a lot of money, uh, but I think we can do it. I know we can do it. And the first step is to write out what the goal is and to make a plan of how to do it so that way we can execute it. If you enjoy these types of videos, if you are not a part of the Crafty Budgeter fam, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. This week is pretty much going to be all about getting our budget and our life organized. So please stay tuned for the rest of this week. I'm going to be talking about my savings challenges, which y'all know I do some simple savings challenges that anyone can do with just rollover money. I'm going to be talking about my debt update. I'm going to be going through my updated envelopes and doing all of the fun things to get us ready to go at the beginning of this year. I know I probably should have done this like last week, but I didn't. So y'all are just kind of come along with me for the ride. So we're going to go and jump right into it. I'm using the Elevated Life Co. Budget Book it is out of stock right now, but we have put in an order for that we, so we can get some more books. So stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram at The Elevated Life Co. so you know when you can order your book if you are interested in it. If you want to know how I set up my budget for January, definitely I will link it down below. Watch that video. It's a good one. Um, I talk about some other things on the channel, but we are going to jump right in. So I'm using the Elevated Life Co. book, and in the book, there is a section that says Elevate Your Goals, and that is the model of the brand for the Elevated Life Co. We want to make sure that we're everything that we're doing thinking strategically about elevating the goals that you have for yourself. So whether they're personal goals, financial goals, all of those other goals that we talked about, or I said it earlier, um, thinking through those. So what I'm going to do in my book for this year, I'm only going to write financial and personal goals. Um, I, I'm going to be very strategic on what those goals are. Sometimes I create lofty goals and yeah, those goals don't really work out um, or things fall through. And so I really sat down and thought about like, what do I want this year to be in regards to my finances, in regards to things that I want for my life? And I took some time I wrote it in my notes on my phone, you know, everything I do first, I write it in my notes on my phone, usually at like 1am in the morning when my brain is firing and I'm waking up randomly. Um, so I wrote it on my phone and now I feel like I finalized them to the point where I can share them with you as well. So what we will do first is let's talk about my financial goals and then we will then jump into what my personal goals are. So I, I got these markers playmate markers or sell someone use them so I'm going to I'm going to use the purple ones what do you think purple let's do purple and blue so oh, oh should I do green there we go like come on Brittany green for finance that money honey okay I'm gonna actually move sorry moving you to the side and bringing you in a little bit closer to the front okay so the first goal is going to be financial goal number one. And I got to turn it a little bit just because I can't write that well. Financial goal number one. So my first goal that I want for this year is that y'all, I'm going to be transparent with y'all. And y'all going to get all the details when I do my debt breakdown and where we are with debt for 2020 at the beginning of 2023. Uh, your girl has some, <laughs> it's not funny. I don't even know why I'm laughing, but I have some uh, credit card debt, which I didn't have, but now I have. Over the past year, we've racked up some debt. So the goal is to pay off the credit card. So 
Let me then do it in a black marker. Wait a minute. Look at me getting all creative with the markers over here. Ah. Okay. So the goal is to pay off my credit cards and you'll have to watch the video for um, the debt breakdown to know how much it is. But so it's going to be uh, pay off credit cards. There are many reasons why we actually have some credit card debt and I'll go through that as well, like a breakdown of like how we racked up debt again on the credit cards even though they were paid off. Dang, nab it. <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is. Life happens. Um, and that's just the real about budgeting, right? And that's the real about being on a financial journey is like some sometimes you are set. You are ready to go. You got all of your ducks in a row. And other, other things, life happens and you got debt again or things don't work out the way that you want it to. And that's okay. The main goal is that you recognize it, recognize it and create a plan and execute that plan to make the goal or whatever you are trying to do work. So how am I going to pay off the credit cards? Y'all know I'm a big, 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 big debt snowball um, person. So we're going to use our debt snowball to do that. I'm really excited to talk about the um, like my debt snowball plan. Um, and then I'm going to use some money from side hustle. So my YouTube channel, my Etsy shop, um, some things are coming to the Etsy shop, oh, which I'm really excited about. So stay tuned for that. And um, the Elevated Life Co. So using some of that money to go towards paying this off. And then my savings challenges. So savings challenges. So those are the three ways that I'm going to be paying off the credit card. Y'all, we got to do it. Debt Snowball, which our Debt Snowball right now is about $1,800. I think I'm raising it to $2,000. If you want to know what the Debt Snowball is, again, watch that video. I'll walk you literally through everything. And then Money from Side Hustle, as well as my savings challenges. A portion of all of those are going to go towards this financial goal number two. So then... Let's do, should I do financial goals on this side and then personal goals on that side? I think that's what the decision is. All right, so the financial, goal, that, this isn't the right color. Hold on, wait a minute. So financial goal number two. So the, that goal is to put... And I have this goal every year. Do you, can you guess what it is? Can you guess what the goal is? Um, emergency fund. And yeah, the, the emergency fund is wiped clean. And it, it just, y'all, I think I might do a video all on just like the importance of an emergency fund and why you need one. And literally since I started this channel in 2021, how many things I had to go and dip into the emergency fund for when you, we own a house. And I feel like when you own a house, everything, everything, Every like six months, there's also something going on with the house, something going on with the car. But the nice thing about it is that we have an emergency fund. We have money put aside for those exact reasons. So I would like to have $5,000 in an emergency fund. This is going to be the same every year, probably. Okay, so with that, I am going to, I already kind of started using this, um, and financial goal number two and financial goal number three are kind of the same, but they're a little bit different in the same regard. Um, so how I'm going to put $5,000, excuse me, in the emergency fund is I've actually already set this up. So in my, with my bank, I'm able to create these like rules that for savings. And so every time I get paid, which we get paid weekly um, between my husband and I, I have already made the rule that $50 is going to be taken out of the account automatically. Like I won't even see the money. It's going to go right into our savings account. So that way I'm not seeing it. It's already happening, ready to go. Um, and 
if you think about it, let's do the numbers. So 50 times four, because there's four weeks in a month, and then times 12, that's already going to get us to $2,400, which is almost halfway towards this goal. Then, so let me do this. So um, $50 automatically. into savings account. Oh, dag, I went over. You see that? Dag. And then the other thing that I'm going to be doing is the $100, $100, oh my gosh, 100 envelope challenge. And y'all, I have come up with a simplified way of doing the 100 envelope challenge and it's gonna, I'm gonna do a whole se separate video on what I've created to make just life easier for those that are gonna, gonna and wanna do the challenge. And so definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. So 100 envelope challenge, the money and the, hold on, let me do one thing at a time. Okay, so the 100 envelope challenge that's a portion of that money is going to go towards this goal. And I think at the end of the 100 envelope challenge, I think you save $5,050. I think that's what it is. Maybe I could do it more than once. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. But $5,000 in an emergency fund. And then the last financial goal is number three is that I want to how I, mm, let me think yeah that's fine I want to put five another five thousand dollars in a um savings account so emergency funds are like the emergency don't touch it unless you need it the savings account is just it's like a bucket that I'm like saving for big things, which the biggest thing that I'm saving for this year is a trip that we're taking in um, at the end of next year. Well, at the end of this year. I forgot we're already in this year. So the saving, and I'll, I'll kind of share a little bit more about what that is a little bit further down the line in the year. But I want to put another $5,000 in savings. And then the way that we're going to do that one is that, again, I'm going to take some of the money from the 100 envelope challenge, I think. We'll see. 100 envelope challenge. And then I'm going to use my golden months. So golden months, miracle months, and magic months, whatever you want to call them. There are months that have five weeks in them instead of four and so there's three I think there's three golden months well let me check the calendar because I don't want to tell you all the wrong thing in Jen in 2023 there are one in March one in June one in September and one in December oh there's four one two three Four. Yeah. So using the golden months, what did I call it? Miracle months, magic months. Um, so golden months and that's, um, what did I say? It's March, June, September, and December. So I'm going to use some, that extra paycheck, you get an extra paycheck, yay, nice money, um, to go towards this goal of $5,000 in a savings account. <sighs> so those are my financial goals. The first one, pay off the credit cards. Second one, $5,000 in an emergency fund, and then $5,000 in savings. So now let's talk about my personal goals. And the reason why I'm going to add this in there is because I definitely think it's important while you are on your financial journey and trying to pay off debt or putting money to savings, whatever your goal is, you still got to make time for yourself and, and have some goals for yourself to further yourself, grow in different areas and things along those lines. And so there's three areas that I really want to focus on this year. Um, and this year is going to be a little bit different for us because we're going from a family of three to a family of four. 
And so there's going to be a lot of changes. And so I'm trying to just think through, like, what are those really important things that I think are going to be, um, like, useful in just my personal growth or well-being and, and my family's as well. So personal goal number one. Hold on. Personal goal number one. So that first personal goal is that I want to do just like more stuff with the family. So um, there's something called the 222 rule that I found. Someone put it on Facebook and I'm like, oh, this is cool. And it's basically going on a date night every two weeks with your significant other, um, spending a weekend away every two months and taking a week long vacation every two years, right? So we already did our vacation list past summer. We did 10 days in Florida, five days in Florida and then five days in the Bahamas. And so like, we're good for that. But I really want to focus this year on just spending time and cultivating and nourishing my relationship with my husband. You know, every, the day to day and going to work, taking care of family, doing all the things is great. But then sometimes I feel like the just, I don't want to say connection because we have, still have a connection, but just that that time, quality time with your significant others for me, for my husband, it's just not there. And I really want to be intentional about doing that as well as being intentional about doing like fun family things with my son, especially bet between now and when I have my second son. Y'all, I'm having a boy. And so just thinking through doing just like spending quality family time is like a personal goal for myself. And so that looks like date nights with my husband, or I don't even know, just like, I don't like, I want to say spending time with my husband, but I don't know how to like word that. Cause like we spend time together and like watch stuff on the couch, but maybe it is date nights and, and cause we don't do that. So maybe that is what it is. Date nights with spouse and then family like family um, outings with son. Yeah, I think those are good. Okay, so date nights and family outings with my son. I kind of changed it a little bit, <laughs> as you can tell. I had something else, but as I'm talking through it, I'm like, you know what, actually, Brittany, like this is actually more important. So that's personal goal number one. So personal goal number two is self-care. Y'all, I can't stress how much it is important to take time for yourself. And, and self-care can be so many different things. Self-care can be like, um, I don't know, like getting your nails done, getting your hair done, going for a walk, um, hanging out with your friends, uh, like going to the movies by yourself, like reading. You can pick anything you want for your um, self-care, but, you know, at least once a month, is there a dash between self-care? I think there is, but I can't, yeah, it has to be. Self-care, and this is just for me once a month. Once a month, that's all I need. So this month already, y'all, I did my nails myself. You can't, I don't know if you could tell. You know, we're getting there. I, I was in, on a kick where I was getting them done every three weeks, and I might go back to it. But I really want to get to a point where I can like do my own nails and save some money. So if you have any tips and tricks of how to do your nails and like paint them or dip or whatever that actually lasts longer than a couple of days, like these are probably going to be chips within the next like two, two days. If that, if it lasts the whole week, I'm going to be surprised. If you have any tips and tricks, put them down below. But for me, it's just like doing something for myself. And so this month I already like to take a little bit of time, gave myself a little manicure. Maybe next month it's like getting my hair done. Maybe another time before, before I deliver, it's like, I don't really like massages, but I don't know. I have to think of something. If you give me some, along with the nail tips, what are some of your like self-care routine that you do for yourself just to pamper yourself and treat yourself sometimes? So 
self-care once a month and it can look so many different ways like um nails hair maybe treat myself to a movie or something i also you know what i want to do i want to do one of those like spend a night at a hotel by yourself well i don't know if i want to be by myself but like go away somewhere by myself but you know i i I like being around others, but maybe has, does anyone have it? Has anyone done that? Like go to a hotel just for a night by yourself and just veg out and watch movies and do all the things. Yeah. Um, so that's the third one, second one. And then last but not least, my third goal, sorry y'all is hold on personal goal. Number three is for this is going to be broken up into two parts actually but the first one is to stick with my devotional so two years ago my sister and I did the bible recap by Terry Lee Cobble and I loved it I read a bible the bible in a year and I didn't do anything last year really which isn't good. But this year, I'm like, girl, you got to get back on it. So either Daily Bread, I, I picked up the Bible recap again. I just really like how she recaps things. Um, so stick with my devotional. And so, well, I already know what that means. And the kind of going along the lines of like reading um, is to read 40 books. Now, now you might be thinking like, Brittany, come on, that's a little lofty, isn't it? Isn't it a little lofty? read 40 books now this year I think I read let me see hold on let me go to my goodreads and see how many books I read this year goodreads my books I read come on now 35 I read 35 books this year which isn't too bad I only need five more and I'm going to be on maternity leave so I'm going to have a lot of time and reading it can be either reading an actual book or an audiobook like I'm one of those gals like don't it don't matter which way you you read it but as long as you got a book that you're listening to and enjoying so my goal is to read 40 books um I went on a like OCD kick over the summer and purchase all of these books and I haven't had time to read any so I can't buy any new books but I will um be reading the books that I purchased that I didn't even get to and I think the first series that I'm going to read is hold on I think it's called let me look at my bookshelf it's the I don't know it's, it's either the twisted games or twisted love series by Anna Huang I've heard like so many good things about it there's four books in the series so I think that's what I'm going to start off my year reading but yeah so these are my goals for the year paying off credit cards emergency fund savings quality time with family self-care once a month and this one's really going to be big for me because again my life is about to change from being a mom of one to a mom of two and working and doing all of the things at some point. And so I really want to make sure that I take time for myself and I have, yeah, just some cool ideas just for my creativity and things along those lines. And then sticking with my devotional and reading 40 books. That's my goal. The goal for 2023, they're written down. I kind of created a, a pseudo plan of how it's going to get done. And I'm really excited to see what happens throughout the year to make sure that this, this plan works and, and actually comes to fruition. And, you know, I've also realized that, listen, if I get into the end of the year and I don't reach one of them, it is what it is. I'm going to try my hardest to do it. And every month I'm going to kind of go back and revisit this and see how I'm doing with these goals. Um, and I also recognize that like sometimes the goals might change. Like once I have my son, I, I don't know. Things might just be a little bit different. This is what I'm thinking about right now. But the nice thing about a budget and the nice thing about goals is that you can always come back, reflect, and make changes if needed. So y'all, what are your financial and personal goals for 2023? Let me know down below. Let me know so I can cheer you on throughout the what throughout the year. Keep me updated. I'll keep y'all updated with how we're doing. Maybe I'll do quarterly updates um, to see where we're at with these goals. But I'm really excited. And I think this is just going to be a good year because we created the plan and now it's time to execute. So if you are not a part of the Crafty Budget, so if you're not a part of the Crafty Budget or fam, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. Make sure you like and comment. 
I will see you in the next video. Y'all, you will see the same outfit. I'm bulk recording videos because I have some time to myself. So I'm going to try to get a couple videos done right now. And yeah, that's about it. Have a great rest of your day. See ya. Bye-bye.